when the French tyrant Napoleon Bonaparte kidnapped the imprisoned Pope Pius VII, he failed to realize that the Holy Father was not really alone in his prison. All along, the Pope had been pleading with Our Lady under the title Help of Christians, and surely she was with him because she worked an astonishing wonder for him. Now keep watching to hear all about it. Howdy and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca and thank you for being here with me today. I think you're going to really enjoy this miraculous story. Today, I wanna to tell you about the Pope who outlasted a tyrant through the help of Our Lady. Pope Pius VII had been playing somewhat of a chess game with the despotic ruler Napoleon Bonaparte during the Napoleonic Wars. Every time Napoleon made a threat against Pius VII, he found himself outmaneuvered by the Pope, who is humble, but clever. Finally, in February 1808, Napoleon carried out his threats and occupied Rome. He arrested cardinals and imprisoned Pius VII in the Eternal City. Then, he annexed the Papal States and promptly flew the French flag over Castile to Sant'Angelo in Rome. What could the Pope do next? After all, he was in prison. Well, he had an idea and he carried it out. The next day, Napoleon woke to find placards all over the city announcing that all persons involved in the annexation were excommunicated. Check mate. Napoleon was furious and went off the deep end, and early on July 6, 1809, he ordered French troops to seize the Holy Father and bring him to the Italian city of Savona. During his five years of captivity there, Pope Pius VII appealed over and over to Our Lady under the invocation, Help of Christians. He vowed to crown the image of the Mother of Mercy if he was granted freedom. You see, Pope Pius VII knew that images of Our Holy Mother have tremendous power, and we here at American East Fatima do as well, which is one of the reasons we try to feature her holy face whenever we can. Her image is a logo for this YouTube channel, for instance, for our website, and especially on the member pins that we give to anyone who joins our special Child of Mary group. We designed these beautiful little lapel pins to feature the image of Our Lady ensconced in a gold frame so that anyone who wears them becomes a walking shrine of devotion to our Blessed Mother. Now, if you would like to learn more about this Child of Mary group and receive one of these pins as a gift, well, take a look in the description down below and go ahead and you can click right there. Okay, back to the story. Remember, Pope Pius VII had just promised to crown an image of the Mother of Mercy if he was granted freedom from Napoleon. Then, he waited. In 1812, he was taken to Paris and remained a prisoner in Fontainebleau where he suffered terrible humiliations from the egalitarian French tyrant. But over time, divine providence intervened and overturned the good fortune of Napoleon. In 1814, he was weakened by losses suffered on several fronts. That, and the pressure of public opinion, made him decide to permit his prisoner to return to Rome. I guess you could say Our Lady came through for the Pope. Pope Pius VII took advantage of the journey home to honor the Mother of God in a unique way. He crowned her image in Akona under the invocation of Queen of all saints. And fulfilling the vow that he made when still a prisoner in Savona, he adorned the forehead of the image of the Mother of Mercy with a golden frond as he passed by that city. The journey continued and on May 24th he made a triumphant entrance into Rome. The population at large received him. The crowd was so huge along the Flavian Way that the Supreme Pontiff's carriage advanced with difficulty until suddenly a group of the faithful unharnessed the horses and pulled the vehicle up to the Vatican Basilica themselves. Unsurprisingly, those people earned the applause of all of the onlookers. Pius VII attributed this great victory of the church over the revolution to the powerful intercession of Our Lady. He wanted to show his gratitude by establishing a feast day of universal scope 
dedicated to the beautiful Marian invocation, Our Lady Help of Christians. So May 24th became her feast day and thanksgiving for the Holy Father's happy return to Rome. And that's our story for today. And if you could use some help, and let's be honest, who couldn't? Then don't hesitate. Pray to Our Lady Help of Christians. She'll be sure to turn her maternal gaze your way and guide you through your difficulties. Now, thank you for watching and may God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima focused content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a Child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin, plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a Child of Mary. God love you.